Here are the best GPUs to buy for every single price point. Started off at under $300, and you've actually got loads of options. Through NVIDIA's newly announced 249-5050, the 299-5060, the Arc B570 or B580 from Intel, and even AMD with their RX 9060 8GB model. Now for me, the 9060 XT 8GB is the best option, even though I don't really like the card. Let me explain. The 9060 XT 8GB is the fastest of any of the GPUs in this price bracket even if it is a little VRAM constrained. Moving up to under $400 and really there's only two options the 16 gigabyte 9060 XT or the 8 gigabyte RTX 5060 Ti and it's an easy choice the 16 gig 9060 XT is the way better card to buy especially for 1440p gaming with that 16 gigs of VRAM. For under $500 you really haven't got that many options right now and there's a big gap in the market here. The RTX 5070 comes in at 549 so that's out the budget. And the 9060 XT for 349 and the 5060 Ti 16 gig for 429 are really the only two cards you're going to consider. I'd stick to be honest with the RX 9060 XT 16 gig if you can buy one for MSRP and leave the 5060 Ti and keep the extra cash. Under $600 opens your options dramatically. At MSRP pricing you've got the 5070 to choose from or AMD's 9070 and 9070 XT. For me I would buy the 9070 XT every Every single day of the week. The big problem is it's never actually available for anywhere near this price, meaning the RX 9070 non-XT and 5070 get a look in. The 5070 is the most popular card in this area at the moment and the one you can actually get your hands on a little easier. Move through to under $700 and again the options don't change at all. The RX 9070 XT is more easily found within this price bracket but there are no GPUs with an MSRP of between $600 and $700. Under $800 and you'll want to consider the RTX RTX 5070 Ti. Again, this is often available for in and around MSRP and provides a little more performance than the much cheaper 9070 XT. Well, at $1,000, you have one option the RTX 5080. And if you've got stupid amounts of money, the 5090 will set you back about two grand. What do you guys think of this list? How much are you spending on a GPU this year? Let me know in the comments.